All right, guys, so what I'm showing you here is the X cam and the mini cam. Uh, these two stabilizers look almost the same, but there are some really slight differences. Uh, but they're basically modeled after the kind of the same form factor. Um, so the X cam here comes with this uh, travel bag. You see it's kind of a drop-in pouch, like a lens pouch. And then the Skylar Mini comes with this uh, bag over here. So it's a little bit easier to travel with this uh, X cam, uh, just because it's a smaller bag. Uh, it's also easier to set up because it has folding legs as opposed to the legs on the Skylar that have to be removed. Um, they kind of balance the same way. Uh, I'll run through that in a bit, but I'll show you uh, the folding legs here on the X cam. All right, so for the Skylar mini cam, when you're breaking it down, you have to um, unscrew these legs here. And that's what it looks like. And then you can pack up your Skylar once you have all of these legs off. One of the things that someone mentioned before is that you should mark these weights and what position they sit in around the, the stabilizer. Uh, the reason why is um, if you put this leg on this side and this leg on this side, maybe you could throw your balance off because they only need to be slightly different uh, in order to throw the, the static balance off. So um, when you're breaking your system down, you should mark the weight according to what side it should be reattached to. So that's another thing that might slow you down when you're breaking down and setting up. Still, this is much faster than any of the glide cam stuff out there. Um, and, and it's so portable, it'll fly a heavy camera like the 5D Mark III with, you know, with my Sigma 20 millimeter lens and, and even a heavier camera than that. So let me put this Skylar aside here. All right, so looking at the uh, X cam here, the difference is um, you still balance the weights in the same way, but you don't need to remove the legs. So that means you don't have to remember where those legs are going to be attached. There's a locking collar here. And once you spin this loose, it actually folds up. You do that with all of these very quickly. And that's how portable the system is. And that's the reason why it'll fit into this drop-in pouch here. It's a lot smaller. Um, it does come with some extra stuff, extra weights and extra bits and pieces. But this is pretty much the stabilizer that you're gonna be traveling with. Now, let me fold this back out. All right, now the features I'm gonna run through are pretty close to the uh, Skylar Mini here. So you have a quick release plate up on the top. This is where you mount your camera. So you can unpack your camera, put it in the bag, and then when you're ready to fly, just throw it back onto your stabilizer and uh, you know, it should be pretty much balanced. You're ready to fly. Same with this one here. So if you could, if you could see that the uh, quick release plates look almost exactly the same. One just has a, a red pad, the other is a, a black pad. Now when you're looking at the top stage, again, it looks almost exactly the same. You have some fine tuning knobs here. And this allows the stage to move forward and back. Then you have these dials here that allow the stage to move left and right. Some of these systems here may have an additional counterweight off to the side, if you can see that. So you thread and you unthread that if you need to. Uh, it's not required. You can actually remove this. You don't have to have it. Um, the same goes for the bottom, like the Skylar here has a port where you can actually add um, an additional weight to kind of bring it back a little bit if your camera is too uh, forward or front or back heavy, you can add an additional weight to the post here. Now the gimbals on both systems are fixed, so you can't adjust the height on the gimbal up or down, um, but you could adjust the post and that's a way to fine tune uh, the counterweight to make it more or less bottom heavy. To do that, you just loosen this knob here, and on the Skylar, you have to slide the post up and down. 
on the X cam, you loosen this and it actually won't slide up and down. There's a thread at the bottom here. And as you turn this, it'll bring the post up or down. So it's kind of a fine tuning knob for the, uh, the post. So it's pretty handy to fine tune when you're balancing, but it does take a little bit more time to drop this post further down when you're just balancing your camera for, uh, for the first time. All right, so both systems have a threaded access port underneath. This one is a 3 8 Obviously, you could step it down to a quarter inch. This one here is only a quarter inch. Typically, what you could do with this is put it onto like a monopod. So when you're not flying your stabilizer, you don't have to carry all the weight. You could just put it on a monopod, kind of run around, cover an event. And then when you want to go flying, you can take off the monopod underneath the system and then fly around. There is a hole under here. Um, if you want to try to modify a brace to be used on this, the x cam has a plug, but um, I've removed this plug and you, there is a hole here that you could use if you wanted to mount a brace underneath this. All right, so those are a couple of differences between the Skylar Minicam and this new X Cam. You'll probably find some of these guys uh, for about $180, sometimes pretty cheap online. Uh, they won't have the folding legs, and they're not actually, uh, from what I understand, is they're not coming out of the same factory, so the bearing quality might not be as good. Uh, but this model right here, I've had no problems with. Um, I can get it statically balanced, spin around just fine with a 5D Mark II and my 20, Sigma 20mm 20 lens, which is kind of my favorite setup to fly around. Uh, works really well, balances very easily, um, and again, half the price of what the Skylar Minicam is going for. Uh, this right now is the one to look out for if you want to fly uh, kind of small uh, cameras as well as cameras up to the 5D Mark III weight. Anyways, for more information about stabilizers like this and other setups, check me out at CheesyCam.com.